A classic Commodore raced by Bathurst King Peter Brock was back competing today, this time for dollars. The Holden, the Holden going under the hammer with a surprise result. Sporting history, the machine and the man behind it. There's Brock at work. The 1991 Holden VN Commodore Group A touring car, the King, took to the mountain, or as he called it. This is the office. This is the machine that I'll be piloting around the track. Probably most family, famously known, Paul, for uh, that uh, top ten shootout track that he did around Mount Panorama. To be one of the fastest Aussies on four wheels, and sometimes two. Look at the rear wheel. It was off the deck over the top of the filming. Oh! Oh, oh, listen to the crowd. They're loving this. Rock, I can tell you the mob on the hill loved it. They loved it, mate, because I kept the pedal to the metal. Reaching 278 kilometres an hour, not enough for victory. The car would still be racing eight years later. Today, the star of a sale of 200 vintage, classic and muscle cars. Australians love motorsport and love to get behind it. And when you've got a name like Peter Brock, there with that affiliation to it, that is a legendary name. This is where it all happens. Return to its original look. Pretty ugly, but very, very effective. Complete with Channel 7's world famous race cam. Really gassing it up now. Bidding reached $235,000 today, the final sale price to be negotiated. So much has changed since these were built. Experts say Australian made classics are becoming harder to find. It's to own a piece of that history um, is something quite special, and it doesn't come around very often. Paul Carrack, Seven News. I'll have today's sports news after the break with a double night of Australian gold at the Paris Paralympics.